Hey everybody, this is Dave from Growing the Home Garden. I'm here to show you a common fall problem that pops up in our hackberry trees here in the south. And uh, this here is a hackberry tree and you can take a look at the leaves and see all that black sooty substance on it. That is caused by an excretion from an insect called the aphid. You've probably heard of aphids before. This one is an Asian woolly aphid that comes in and actually sucks on the leaves. Leaves an excretion called honeydew and then the honeydew molds over, leaving a blacky soot. It really doesn't ca cause any lasting harm to the tree, but it can be pretty annoying, especially when you actually like to park your car somewhere in that area, um, or maybe a camper, or in my case, my garden shed. So, but I've got this hackberry tree here in the back, and if you notice, if I come on the back side of these leaves, I'll resume the focus here. You can see some of those aphids right there. In fact, there's a big one right there moving around. You can see kind of what they do is they just kind of wander around on the back of the leaves, sucking the juices out, leaving it behind, and then it gets molded, and it can create a mess. And it leaves that stuff all over your cars, which can be a pain to clean up. You'll notice it if you drive around on the roads, and you'll see kind of a wet-looking area on the road. And then you look up, and you notice that it's a hackberry tree. And, I mean, it's a pretty good indicator that it's got woolly aphids on it. So just avoid it. Don't plant hackberry trees or remove hackberry trees if you need to. Um, they generally don't recommend that you treat the trees because it's not such a significant problem uh, as it is when you're putting all the pesticides and stuff out there. It doesn't hurt the tree in the long term. It's just kind of an annoying thing that you deal with in the fall. So this is one of those things where, you know, planting the right tree in the right place and maybe removing some hackberry trees if you don't like them where they are and putting something better in their place that won't be as susceptible. So anyway, that's just a little bit on the woolly aphids that we have over here from Asia. Another invasive pest brought over on foreign plants. So... Anyway, thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more information on gardening stuff. Have a great day.